Hey everyone, I'm really excited to be here to share inspiration for a new company that's out there called Layered Life. They have kits that you can purchase digitally or physically and the company is run by Christine Middlecamp and if you're familiar with her, she has been in the industry for years and was the coordinator for Create Paper for, for several years. Anyway, I'm excited to be here and we'll be sharing inspiration that uses mixed media. Now, I know if you're like me, you typically think like a very artsy kind of background, paints, things like that. But mixed media, the definition of it, I looked it up, is to use a variety of media. So it's different products in your scrapbooking. My plan to share today is going to be a spread that is in my December album that I am completing for last year. So I have this page already typed up and I'm going to show you here how I did it in Photoshop. You could see there that I was trimming my paper and I created a new page that was five by eight with the white background. And then I click on the rectangle marquee tool. I use the right uh, click or the right mouse click on it to get the triangle. So when I start the triangle, then you can click on shift or option. It depends on what you have. I have a Mac and when I do the shift, it kind of keeps the triangle in, a, in proportion, but I get it to where I want it at least sized and then I resize it using the transform uh, little corners here because I want this, as you can see when I trimmed it, I want this to cover the majority of the page. So once I have that in place, you select the text tool on the left and you just want it to be horizontal. As long as your image, in this case my triangle, was still blue and when I click using that text tool, it automatically will take the shape of whatever it is that you have. And I love that. And that's why I did this on the computer versus my typewriter because I wanted it to fit completely within that triangle. Now I was having problems with my printer. I needed to get some more ink and it's not printing correctly. So I just printed this photo. It's not a great photo, but it tells the story of what I want for this project. So I just printed it on regular paper to trim it just to use as a guide. Now there's some of the digital papers that I printed from the brand new, it's called All Is Bright collection. The physical uh, product will be available soon. I'm pulling out some of the die cuts there. I think I'm going to use that die cut there at the top. This is some of the paper here. And what I did, I had already punched several of the triangles with my punch here. But I will just show you real quick how I did that. Just trim it and then just punch it. And then here's some of the others that I have. I'm really going to only use this at the bottom. So I have my, mostly my journaling, my photo, and um, I love that paper. Isn't that paper gorgeous? I wanted to show you that. I love the vintage colors and the vibe. And that's definitely what Layered Life, the style and the vibe is. It definitely has a retro vibe to it. So as I was placing these, it got too crowded. So the best way to do it, I realized, was to adhere the two triangles on either corner of the bottom of my, my drawn um, or my Photoshop triangle and then fill in the triangles. And it left a little bit of a space in between, which was fine. I really liked that look anyway. So I pulled in a few more of the die cuts there, pulled in a little chipboard star, and since this is a story about how we have been creative with doing Advent in, in our house, I'm doing the 24 days. So I pulled some old stickers there from Citrus Twist kits to do 24 and then some other stickers from Citrus Twist to, to spell out days on this other die cut from the All is Bright collection. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to place those and I really do want my real photo before I commit to any of that. But I know that I want some of these stars. Next, I know that I also want to start adding some more of different media types to this. So as I fiddle with this and I have my idea in mind, I first go ahead and I want to go ahead and punch my holes because if I don't, I usually forget. <laughs> so I use I use an, um, a recollections planner punch that I think I purchased at either Hobby Lobby or Michael's, very inexpensive. I'll leave it on the exact settings that I need and it fits my Citrus Twist albums. 
So I want to add stitching. So that is another, that's a different media. That's a different pro, uh, product that I'm pulling into this. So mixed media can be as simple as that. So I'm going to do some stitching along the sides of each of the triangles for the tree. And then I did some, a single um, punch or piercing in between each of the triangles. I'm going to do French knots for those later. But all I'm doing is just stitching, doing a back stitch. So I just go through, I secured my thread on the back with washi tape. And then you come up and then you go back down into the next one. So you just skip, you skip a little space and then you go up and then you go back down. And sorry for that not being totally in the frame, but I will try to do that a little bit better next time. Sometimes I get into the zone. But as I did that, you can see that as I pulled my thread through, I added some sequins. The sequins is from the Jingle All The Way kit from Citrus Twist. And the sequins are actually another form of media. It's a different type of product that you would use other than paper and stickers. Okay, so now on to the French knots. I secured my thread on the back with the washi tape. I'm going to come up through that hole. And I have two strands of floss. And since I have two strands, I want a little bit thicker of a French knot. So I'm going to wrap that thread twice around my needle. Bring it down back into the same hole. But you want to make sure that that thread stays pretty doesn't have to be super tight, but you want to keep it pretty um, close to the needle as you bring it through. The reason for that is because once you pull it all the way through, if they were too loose around your needle, you'll have a little bit more of a wonky looking French knot. This one didn't come out exactly perfect, but that's okay. It still is a nice, neat knot. And that's the trick to get a nice, neat knot is to wrap it around, then hold it, make sure that it stays fairly close to your needle as you pull it down, and then you'll have a really nice knot. And then I'm gonna speed the video back up so you can see how I'll finish this up. But that's a nice little addition in between the space there of the triangles. So, so far, the different mixed media that I'm using is I brought in the embroidery floss, the sequins, and then the last thing that I'm going to bring in is a paint pen. I've been wanting to grab one of these and I, I got it off of um, Amazon. So I'm excited to finally actually use it. Now at the bottom, I did add a little bit more floss. I created like slants, a slant going to the right, a slant going to the left. I didn't want a straight line all the way across the bottom. I just wanted to fill in a little bit more floss there at the bottom. So that just kind of um, just balanced it and gave it a little bit more of um, the texture that I already have throughout with the thread. So here's the paint pen. It is by Posca and I got it off of Amazon. So it works perfectly. I just added a line. I was trying to think of how I wanted to add this to these chipboard stars, but I kept it pretty simple by just adding a line going in each direction of each point. And you'll see in the in the pictures of the close-up exactly how it came out. But it dries really quickly and it gave an extra little something that I wanted for this layout. So now I finally have my my um, ink for my printer and I printed my photo. I did print it a little bit smaller than it originally was. I used Lightroom to print my photos and this was probably about one and a half by maybe two and a quarter. I just made sure the height wasn't too too high. I wanted to at least have a little bit of space in between. So now with my photo in place I go ahead and adhere the star, stars which I ended up keeping at the top and adding the die cut with the stickers on it. And this is the finished project. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you would check out Layered Life for more inspiration.